in an hour i'm leaving dubai to go back home to riga uh i just got back from the venue took a shower now packing all my stuff and i wanted to do an aftermath video of the king of the table four so uh spoilers of course spoilers there's gonna be spoilers uh appreciate everyone who bought the pay-per-view who supported this event um i saw few of illegal streams between some of the people I have on Facebook. Um, you're not doing any service to the sport, to the athletes, to the events, to the promotions. A lot of money goes into these. Uh, not always you will have super exciting matches. You know, it is arm wrestling. It's still to the core. You need to understand it's arm wrestling. It's not fighting. There can be sweeps, there can be blowouts and everything in between. So. First, I want to thank Larry Wheels uh, for pretty much starting all this. What we saw tonight was in quite some time, we saw the best guy from the West facing the best guy from the East, without doubt. Those two guys met. Result, you know, we're going to talk about the result, but I want to thank for Larry for making it happen because, you know, a lot of guys have been trying to make that happen and he just did it. Uh, and I think the core of this is Adam Silver. Adam Silver, everything he's doing for the sport, uh, people do not recognize how good it is to have him in our community. He loves the sport and he's, I think he's the key figures of all this putting together starting the whole thing in Dubai, starting with Larry and then moving on to King of the Table. You know, everyone who was involved in making this event, all the athletes, uh, Neil Pickup, you know, as always, I'm just in awe looking at him and you know, how he does his job. And um, yeah, I, I had, uh, it was full of excitement. Um, of course, you wanna see more competitive matches but the excitement and the weight of this match was carried out uh, up until those four, first four rounds, the excitement was alive in me. And after it was, you know, kind of, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, let's talk about the matches. So first, like I did my, I, I did my predictions everywhere, I think, and everyone asked me like, who do I pick as a favorite? And so I picked wrong the first match. Irakli totally dominated Marcio. Marcio got injured on the first round when he lost that hand and Irakli just went over him. Uh, yeah, Irakli, his technique is so superior that he doesn't need anything else. He just makes you and kind of work with Marcio's style where he's so much side pressure, he kind of get in that trap and just couldn't get anything going. Uh, Maybe if you switch the styles, maybe try to top roll Irakli at the start, maybe it would have been different, but it it was how it was. Um, so, you don't know, even some matches ended like 4-0 or 3-0. All of these are 6-0 matches. If the guy doesn't continue, it's still a 6-0 match. Um, yeah, so Irakli wins. We go to Corey West versus Alex Kordecha. Um I thought that what surprised me, first of all, was how good hand at containing Corey West has. Corey West is right there. He's right there on top of the elite. Uh, he's still very young. I talk with him. I'm like, man, like every hook puller knows to save the hand, you need the strap. And he was so good at containing guys that he's trying to fight without the strap. But guys at such high level with a lot of experience like Alex has had right now was making it work, making it more tired, more tired, more tired. At the end, hopefully he is not injured. I talked with him, I posted that video up as well, but he did amazing job on that first round, which took forever. Uh, I think referees did a great job. Uh, I still have to look back at all the matches, you know, we, we saw it from different angles and, um, but I think referees did a great job just looking back did they make a right call almost on every pin, every every foul and everything else. So that was, uh, you know, diligent work from Bill Collins. Um, I wanna, yeah, I wanna say referees did great job. Alex Grudecha coming back from a loss, 
uh, getting a W here versus very strong Corey West. Corey West, you can put against a lot of guys. Uh, a lot of guys that pull inside, that would be amazing to see. Because I think like uh, after after his uh, loss to Todd Hutchings, he has gotten better. He has learned from those mistakes and his hand looks insane. Like it, it was really insane for that first round. Uh, Alex doing what Alex does. He said he wants uh, Dave Chafee again, but there's there's some few matches for Alex as well. Uh, good day for him. So we go to Devon and Levin. So as anticlimactic as it was, because there was no real struggle, uh, but yeah, the gap. Like if you look at what I said when the match was, you know, announced, I said the strength gap. That's all I'm talking about because I know the strength gap and exists. It is a real thing, and like a lot of people change their predictions starting from the match when, when it was announced until the end. I said uh, I didn't change my prediction. I didn't change my thoughts. I thought that Lemon is gonna be too strong. I thought that maybe, maybe at the end, Devon can get some purchase, uh, make him tired. But the, the difference in strength, it wasn't like five, 10 percent. It was way more. Uh, Devon also got injured in that first, no, second round. Something happened in his biceps. Even now he's holding his arm. But yeah, um, I want it. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be dead honest with you guys. Um, Devin is one of my favorite armistices of all time. Love that guy. Know him personally. Have the privilege to know him personally. I really wanted Devin to win. I wanted to. I wanted him to win for, for the story. It wasn't anything else. I think it was, if because that would be one of the greatest moments, not only in in arm wrestling but in sports. He gave it all. However, you look at that match. You need to understand, even though he couldn't do anything, he gave it all. He was in that match 110, 200%. He was trying everything. When top roll failed and his bicep failed, he tried to hook him, go frame to frame, just try everything he could. Levon, Levon, Saginishvili, in my opinion right now, and I was struggling before, but I think just from the matches that he has had, with, you know, Devin, Dave, Vitali. I think he is the pinnacle and he is the strongest armor ever. Uh, I do not throw these things around easily. I really believe it. Uh, maybe one more match versus, I don't know versus who to be honest. I think Gennady might be one of the few guys that can do something just because he knows him so well. He knows the weaknesses and he knows the strengths, but I think he is the pinnacle. He is the absolute, He's the guy, and it will be very hard to bring him down. However, we'll look at this right now. For the contenders with the right arm, everything is open for the left. And he's been taken out of the world rankings. He's not even ranked there because he hasn't competed, competed with left in like forever. So left arm, let's go and we'll see if he's the, you know, the guy that holds the both titles. Because right now, just looking at right arm, who, you know, who, you know? So I'm, I'm very interested in, in seeing uh, what happens next. He is the top guy. Top 20 is very interesting. There's a lot of guys that can come in and who will be the next one who rises to occasion. Uh, a lot of people believe that was Devon, that, you know, and Devon, he went in like <laughs> walkout song. Walkout song. Did you guys hear what was the walkout song? The video he did with the bicycle and everything else. All that was really great. He tried his best to get every possible edge. Um, yeah, and I think he come in really great shape. For Devon, like there's so many matches to make. I really want to see him versus pretty much anyone on that, that top 20 list. He can pull with all of those guys. Uh, what I don't like is when the matches take half a year to happen so um yeah not the i would say from quality or, or competitiveness not the best night for arm wrestling but we get a lot of answers to a lot of questions Corey west is is close but not right there Iraqli 
is on that top guy list. And I think that just speaks about how great Todd Hutchings is right now. Todd is on another level, and I think he will give a lot of problems to Prudnik. Where people believe it's going to be an easy, I, I don't think it's going to be easy. Uh, Todd, yeah, he looks superb. Uh, and Levin, you know, the list is getting really thin. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to thank everyone who watched. Uh, nothing would happen without you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to be here, be part of this. Bringing you so some behind the scenes, getting some interviews and things like that, and uh, support this sport. Let's make it big. Let's make it mainstream. Um, stay strong. Love arm wrestling. Uh, I will eat something, and I'm leaving. Where's my Fitbit? This doesn't work. This. I think I broke it today. Yeah, but I think in a half an hour or an hour I'm leaving. So yeah, stay strong. Love arm wrestling. I'll see you soon, guys.